Well, we will begin. Everybody comfortable and ready for this special occasion? Yes, we will get started with today's City Council swearing in ceremony here in our City Hall Council Chambers with an invocation by the Reverend Dr. Thurman Bowens, Jr. of the Trinity Baptist Church, followed by the presentation of colors from our City of Columbia Honor Guard and a national anthem, and I'll return to the podium. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, we do thank you for this awesome occasion. We thank you, dear Lord, for your grace and your mercy. And Father, we thank you for where you've brought Tyler and, and the position that you have in me. Now, God, we pray that it will be one that will be a blessing for all of Columbia. And that, dear Lord, that his only motive will be to serve the people. And we pray, dear Lord, for our entire city council. Um, that, God, they will have that spirit of taking care of your people. So we thank you for getting the right man at the right time for the right position. We give your name all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. For it's in Jesus' marvelous, magnificent, and majestic name we do pray. Let us all say amen. Amen. Please be seated. Again, welcome. 
This is such a very special occasion for the City of Columbia family, and we are very thankful for the presence of all Columbia citizens, whether you're here with us in person or hopefully watching at home. Every time we do a swearing in, there's a lot of the same things said, um, but never uh, is there an occasion in which the staff and I take more pride because even though it's the same protocols, et cetera, we follow, there's always this sense of a special energy, I feel like, of new beginnings, particularly when it's the beginning of a new year, um, and the hope, I think, that comes with public service and what that means to these individuals who give their time, talents, and treasures. And so we don't take that lightly at all. I want to thank today our program participants and the podium guests, of course, Mayor Daniel Rickman and Columbia City Council. Thank you to Reverend Dr. Thurman Bowens, Jr. of the Trinity Baptist Church, and Reverend Dr. Anthony McCallum of the Bethlehem Baptist Church. The Honorable Daniel Coble is with us, and Dr. Stacy Van Pelt Brennan is here, as well as our City of Columbia Honor Guard that you just witnessed. And of course, we have Councilman Brennan and Councilman Alette Bailey and their families. Uh, we also want to send our regards to Councilman McDowell, whose oath was previously administered, but we certainly are thinking of him and his family today as well. I would also like to acknowledge several members of our community who are in attendance, members of the clergy. I'm not going to ask everyone to stand. I'm just going through the protocol. We have to establish protocol. Our neighborhood leaders, elected officials in the room, and appointed administrators, presidents, representatives of any higher education institutions, state agency heads, and members of the judiciary to include our own municipal court judges who are with us today. I also want to ask to acknowledge, and as some of them may be standing, if not ask them to stand, and personally thank our former Mayor Coble. I know I saw Bob Coble in the room. Yeah. And uh, members of City Council, Howard Duvall, our, yes. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and, and speak it into fruition because it's done. Senator Tamika Isaac Devine. <laughs> um, any other count? Is, oh, where is Miss Sinclair? Oh, Miss Ann Sinclair. Yes. The, the legend, the legend was Anne Sinclair, and, and certainly all of their legacies are forever cherished to us, particularly to me and the staff. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Luther, the other legend. <laughs> Luther Batiste. Do you see what I get myself into when I start calling the names, right? Because I don't like to miss anybody, certainly not Luther Batiste. Um, yes. Is he in the, now did he just come in the room? So y'all have to help me out. Where is Mr. Davis? Hi, Mr. Davis. It's Mr. Sam Davis. Yes. Too many legends to count on Columbia City Council over the years. Okay. Well, we cherish every single one of you for sure. Because I work so closely with each of these council members, I recognize the sacrifices that they and their families make to serve our community every single day. Councilman Brennan and Lauren and the children, your parents, um, thank you. You know that the staff and I will continue to work really hard with you particularly as you emphasize beautification efforts and the pride you have in all of our communities. And Councilman Alette Bailey, Elise, and the children and the parents, and the brothers, I think. Um, we are really excited about the energy you bring. You and I have talked, and I'm really excited for you, really here to help. Um, your eagerness is infectious, 
and we are here to help you as you learn and share your talents with us. So with that, I will thank everyone in advance for your willingness to serve. Thank our citizens and you as this community who support us in what we do and recognizing the sacrifices that these councilmen will make for Columbia and her citizens. With that, we will begin the administration of the oaths of office. Um, at that time when the councilmen are given their oath, they can give a brief remarks after that if they so choose, and they will take their seats with their colleagues on city council. To get started, we will have Councilman William Brennan, District 3, with the oath to be administered by his mother, Dr. Stacy Van Pelt Brennan. And at this time, um, if you all could come forward. William, if you will repeat after me, please. I do solemnly swear that I am I duly do solemnly swear that I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified according to the Constitution of this state. To the Constitution of this state. To exercise the duties of the office. To exercise the duties of this office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And that I will, to the best of my ability. And that I will, to the best of my ability. Discharge the duties thereof. Discharge the duties thereof. And preserve, protect, and defend. And preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of this state. The Constitution of this state. And of the United States. And of the United States. As council member of the city of Columbia. As council member of the city of Columbia. I will equally, fairly, and impartially. I will equally, fairly, and impartially. To the best of my ability and skill. To the best of my ability and skill. Exercise the trust reposed in me. Exercise the trust reposed in me. And will use my best endeavor. And will use my best endeavor. To preserve the peace. To preserve the peace. And carry into effect according to law. And to carry into effect and according to law. The purposes for which. The purposes for which. I have been elected. I have been elected. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> You can, you can tell my mom and I didn't really work on that, uh, so we had to work on the pace there at the beginning. I apologize. Tyler, how about this? Look at everybody that came out to see you, Tyler. This is, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. It just, it just lets you know the time is now for our, our great city. Um, uh, you know, I've had the honor of serving under two, two mayors, serving with now a state senator, and, and a group of elected officials that just love this city. Um, my former colleague, Howard Duvall, for, I guess I can say, well, you're not former yet. About five minutes, right? <laughs> but Howard used to, or he tells a story of teaching the course at the Municipal Association about you've been elected, now what? Kind of a elected official 101. But I didn't take that course, I missed that course. I. Uh, uh, let me tell you, I, I missed that course, but luckily we have Miss Teresa Wilson at the helm of this wonderful city. And, and the team that she has pulled together truly are innovative, hardworking, and outgoing. And that taught me so much about city operations. The, the first four years were very educational for me about how important our city functions are to the quality of life for our citizens. Working with our city staff has been great. Ms. Wilson has built a wonderful, wonderful team. Our assistant city managers have surrounded themselves with talented, hardworking people, and I look forward to working with them for another four years. 
I'm just going to run through a couple highlights. Clint Sheely, Frank Eskridge, Dana Higgins, Tiffany Lattimore, and all the Columbia Water Team. Thank you for your drive to improve our infrastructure. Uh, Missy Gentry, there's Missy over there, and Krista Hampton and all the staff and planning and community development, thank you for helping our communities and commercial districts grow in a responsible approach. Mr. Simons, Henry Simons, thank you for your team and facilities and parks and recreation, for believing that our parks and our neighborhood communities are the core and that we need to keep investing in them. Mr. Palin, money man, where's, where's Mr. Palin? Jeff Palin and the economic development team and the finance teams, a special thanks for pushing our economic development pursuits and, and thinking of innovative ways to provide our public with important capital projects. Ms. Benjamin, Pam Benjamin and her staff, you really create a great work environment that is so important to keeping our recruitment and retention efforts successful. Shanique, Where's Shanique? Shanique, you know, we wouldn't be anywhere uh, without your organization. Thank you for taking care of all the little details for us. Uh, Chief Jenkins and our fire department team, we thank you for your drive to do the best you can do with what is available, and we're going to work to change that. Chief Holbrook, you have a fine CPD and code enforcement team, and, and I've been impressed with the professionalism I've witnessed in the community from Captain Blendowski and the South Region team in District 3. And then there's the employee that hears from me the most. Our public works department is a hard-working group. My buddy, Robert Anderson. Robert Anderson and your team, thank you for all you do keeping this city together. I promise I'm going to keep calling you. So let's give a round of applause to our city, our city staff. You know, city council members do more than just uh, show up every second Tuesday and sit up here and, and, and set policy for our wonderful staff to follow through on. You, you realize you get appointed to boards and commissions. We're assigned to a few uh, as each elected official. And I have been very fortunate to serve on two regional boards that are so important to the growth of our city, our county, and our Midlands. Growth has come to South Carolina. And how we respond as a city, county, and region is so important right now. As we welcome new large employers to the region, transportation and our transit system are more important than ever. Getting world-class talent to world-class job is something that the Comet Board is focused on every day. The Comet's stepping up to the challenge of growth and the effects it has on transportation. And it's been an honor serving on that talented board. It was the ultimate nod to be elected the chairman of the Central Midlands Council of Governments. Serving as vice chair under my friend Newberry Mayor Foster Sin, who's here today. Will Foster will wave your hand? Taught me so much about the importance of all the services our COG provides to the residents of Columbia, Richland, Lexington, and Fairfield counties. From providing services for seniors to infrastructure planning to workforce development and more, rolling up my sleeves and working with elected officials from all over the Midlands has been refreshing. Please remember one thing. The more we work together as reason, the more great things we can do. I truly love ser serving our city of Columbia. People ask me why all the time, all the time. And I think it's knowing that we can catch those opportunities that are out there for our city and, and being a part of that drive is something that keeps me going every day. But of course, none of this would be possible without the support I get from my family, my parents, my sister, Katie and Mac, and, and most of all, my wife, Lauren. Public, as, as Ms. Wilson said, public service is not just a personal sacrifice, it's a family sacrifice. And I would not be able to continue my service to this city without your love. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. The time is now for this great city, and I look forward to the next four years. Thank you so much.
Okay, Mr. Bailey, your turn. At this time, Councilman-elect Tyler D. Bailey at large with his oath to be administered by the Honorable Daniel Coble, Fifth Judicial Circuit Court Judge. Mr. Bailey, Elise, and family. I know that feeling. <laughs> Tyler, if you're able to, yeah. could you and repeat after me? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I'm duly qualified. That I'm duly qualified according to the Constitution of this state. According to the Constitution of this state to exercise the duties of the office. To exercise the duties of this office to which I have been elected. To which I've been elected. And that I will, to the best of my ability, and I will, to the best of my ability, discharge the duties thereof, discharge the duties thereof, and preserve, protect, and defend, and preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of this state and of the United States. The Constitution of this state and the United States. As a council member of the City of Columbia, as a council member for the City of Columbia, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, to the best of my ability and skill. Exercise the trust reposed in me. Exercise the trust reposed in me. And I will use my best endeavors. And I'll use my best endeavors. To preserve the peace. To preserve the peace. And carry into effect according to law. And carry into effect according to law. The purposes for which I've been elected. The purposes of which I've been elected. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Thank Councilman. You. Well, Will, you are right. There's a lot, there are a lot of people here for me, so. <laughs> you know, when you've done it a couple of times, like, well, this is your second time, I believe. Um, your first time, I wanted to make sure all my family and friends and supporters were here, so I appreciate all y'all for coming. Uh, before I get started, this is probably the biggest speech of my life, and I did not prepare a speech. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to my wife about two nights ago. And she said, you go to court all the time and you make arguments. And I said, well, when I go to court, sometimes I just shoot from the hip and just let what flies out, right? But it usually works. But, you know, when I ran for city council in 21 and in 23, I never prayed for me to win. What I prayed for is if it was God's will for me to serve, that the people would elect me. And... And... Demo democracy, I believe, there are really no winners and losers. Everybody who serves, they're serving the people. And so when I did not win in 2021, and the people of Columbia elected a fantastic councilwoman, out of the bustles, um, I was okay, and I believe it wasn't my time. God had something else for me. And truthfully, that year and some change was good for me and my family. And, you know, this role is so important. City Council, we serve the people of Columbia everyday people. You know, I think local government is the purest form of democracy. Big enough that you need a whole campaign team, small enough that you feel responsible for every pothole. And, and Columbia is a big, diverse city. And what I did every day was I woke up and I worked hard. I went out to neighbors, neighborhood meetings, knocked on doors, listened to their concerns. And um, the people of Columbia believed in me to serve in this role. So this is gonna be the greatest honor of my life. What I do promise y'all is to work hard with integrity, to be accessible, and to work with everybody on council uh, to move the city forward. And the staff, work with the staff as well. I have to thank my wife, Elise Bailey, who's a fantastic lawyer, and she's really um, behind everything that I do. Not behind me, but beside me. And uh, a council member on county council always told me, first vote and most important vote that you can get is a vote of your spouse. And <laughs> she was a hard vote to get. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
She was a hard vote to get. And what I, what I promised in 21 when I ran and again in 23 is that I would make sure to always put my family first, to make sure that I'm not going to be the type of leader who forsakes his, his family for the sake of everybody else. And so you serve everybody else. I watched my dad pastor countless people. My, I come from a long line of preachers. And the pool of service is all demanding at times. But I have to serve my family first. And you can do both things. And that's what I'm going to do on city council. So, I, so please give my fantastic wife a round of applause for <laughs> voting for me. I could not get up here and not thank this fantastic city staff that we have. I'm not going to name everybody individually, but uh, the city manager, Teresa Wilson, and everybody on City Columbia staff has been so helpful, for, helpful to me. They brought me in. I had my orientation where they brought me a bunch of binders and books and said, go fish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, it was a bunch of stuff, but I, they were helpful and they've been accessible. And I look forward to working with the city staff and city council in the years to come. And finally, I have to thank the people of Columbia who voted for me and the people of Columbia who um, believe in democracy. I ran a, a citywide campaign. I did not sp uh, focus on specific demographics or specific neighborhoods. I'm going to be a representative for all, people who voted for me and people who did not vote for me. And we have, a, we have a great city council. We have a great team. I think the best days are in front of us. We have a great mayor, a great council. Um, Howard Duvall was a great leader. And I'm, I'm humbled to serve coming behind Councilman Duvall. He was the type of leader who was accessible, who cared about people, who cared about neighborhoods, and always wanted to put people first. That's the type of leader I plan to be. And thank you all. I'm going to need your prayers. I'm going to need your support in the years to come. But we have a lot of things to be excited about. I'm humbled to be before this mic right now. And uh, thank you all. about you all, but I'm charged up and ready to go. I better be, right? I mean, I, I absolutely have to be. So I'm so thankful and proud of this leadership um, and all the wonderful things that are in store for the city of Columbia. Um, as we prepare for the benediction, I too want to thank the staff. Um, they always pay attention to every detail down to getting the right flowers I like to be in this room for these events. I thank you, thank you, thank you. I won't begin to name names except for our wonderful city clerk, Erica Hammond, who keeps us all going. We will ask Reverend Dr. Anthony McCallum to come forward of the Bethlehem Baptist Church for the benediction. And please join us for a reception to be held in the city hall lobby um, immediately thereafter the swearing-in ceremony. Thank you so much for being here. Let us all look to the Lord for this benediction. Our gracious God, as we stand before you in this hollow moment of prayer, we pray for our mayor, city manager, city councils, county commissioners, police chiefs, our judges, and all who serve our local communities. Strengthen them all with wisdom and grace for the heavy burdens they may carry. May they all manage the affairs of this city with integrity and love as they work in the best interests of the citizens of Columbia. That they are called to serve. Now may the blessing of God that he may keep us and guide us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace on this day and every day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>